So over here you can see that I got three bouncing ball animation right there. So all of them are frame by frame as you can see right over here on the bottom. So let's say I want to color each one of them individually. So I want to color this one right here uh, red, green and blue respectively. So for that I can go over here onto the paint bucket tool but if I were to actually uh, paint it out then it does not apply to all frames by default. So what you have to do is to apply everything into all frame you have to have this uh, this actually checked on that is apply to all frames once you check this on then the color that you apply will be colored across all frames just like that so over here just like this once i check this on what i have to do is i have to select the color like red for this one and then draw the range so i need to work around with the layers as well and along with uh the multiple frames there's apply to visible drawing layer. So once I do that, all of the layers will be affected as well. So just like that, I'm going to go for green. Let's see the motion right here. So this is the motion for the first bouncing ball. So I'm just going to go over here and then by using the paint bucket tool and by using this, these tool right here, I'm just going to select all of this. I'm going to make something sort of a range right here and that will apply it to all of the frames in that range. So once I do that, you can see that the color has been applied. Once I press play, the green has been applied on all of it, as you can see right there. Let me just turn on onion skinning on all of this to see how it looks as well. So let us go on with the second uh, with the second ball right here. So let me just expand this out. Let me select uh, red for this one and select this range just like that. As I do that, you can see that only this range has been colored out and not the rest of the layers right over here. So only the layers that you select out will be colored out. So once you turn on the onion skinning, it'll be much more easier. So my onion skinning is turned out all the way up just like that. So I'm just going to select all of the reams right over here, just like this, and all of them will be color uh, colored as you can see right over here. So just like that, all of them has been colored. So Unfortunately, this one has been colored as well. That is because I selected that one out as well. Anyways, we can correct that out later. And finally, I'm going to go around with this layer right here. Let's just select all of this out and color that out. And that is selected as you can see. So over here, all of them has been colored. So right around in this section, there's an error. So I'm just going to click on green right here and click it out to arrange that out just like that. So green has been applied over there uh, on the Outline as well. Same goes for the red one on the center. So apply them out as well. And there you go. So once I turn off the uh, um, off the onion skinning now, so I'm just going to turn off onion skinning for all of them. And if I were to play it, you can see that all of them has been colored just like that. So depending on where the frames are, you can actually color. You can see that there's still the error going on where the edge is. Uh, red so just do minor corrections and there you go so this will save you a lot of time as you can see so you can just select the range where you want to apply the color after you've drawn the outline and then just apply the color there you go so you can change the overall color of multiple layers and multiple frames all at once right over here this makes the things a lot more easier to animate as well so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe